This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 1067 FM and iTalk1067.com. Also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint, Little Blue Bird Studios, Comfort Fit Dentures, Alberto's, Summit Regional Medical Center, and Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. And now, Sholo Ford presents high school football on iTalk 1067 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Very good evening, and thank you for joining us at St. John's High School for one of the biggest rivalries in the state. The Redskins are hosting the Round Valley Elk. I'm Derek Palmer alongside Abe Bodden. As this is a big one, not just because of the rivalry. you got St. John's that's already taken one crack at a team from a 3A conference. That was Sholo. That was in week one. It did not go the way the Redskins wanted to go. Now they got another one. It's going to make it even sweeter if they were able to get that 3A win against their big rivals in the Elks. Yeah, no doubt about it, Derek. And uh, we're excited. Thursday night football. The only other football in town is the NFL, so you got high school yeah. and NFL tonight. Do something, Brady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to start with the keys to the game, brought to you by Ace Hardware of the White Mountains. Need a key made any day or night, any night of the week. Head to three locations of Ace Hardware of the White Mountains. And beginning on the visitor's side, where so much of the offense is going to be generated by Seth Wiltbank from both the rushing and receiving positions. He's going to be fed the ball, though, by his quarterback in Riker Marble, who is going to demonstrate that this is not just a one-headed monster. He's thrown for 250 yards. He's also rushed for 139 yards, but he's able to spread it around, hit already six different receivers. Yeah, I, he's looked good so far on the young season, and lefty quarterback, sophomore is Riker Marble, and so... Interesting to get to watch him tonight. We'll look forward to that. And Seth Wilbank, he's he's the real deal. I, I think you had mentioned earlier he's averaging just under 10 yards a carry. And uh, as he goes, so will go the Elks this year. And they're coming up against the St. John's defense that did have a little bit of a hard time with Solo's rushing attack, though. That was not because they were not able to get any penetration into the backfield. They were able to get there quite often. It just seemed like they had a little bit of a hard time with the speed that the Cougars were thrown at him but still we're going to go ahead and take a look at that defensive front we're playing on both sides is Riley Green 6'4 240 and he's he's going to have to uh, really blow some stuff up to try to disrupt Wilbank. well and that's what we saw against Sholo right St. John's got a lot of pressure in the backfield but with that pressure a lot of the times it, it can be difficult to stop the run so they're facing probably the best running back up here on the mountain in Seth Wilbank. they're going to need they've got their hands full they need to make sure to contain him and I would imagine Coach Mike Morgan and his staff, they've been all over that all week long. Offensively, the signal colors, James Thomas against the Cougars. He was 3 for 11 for just 27 yards. Th through three interceptions, though, toward the end of it, he was really starting to have to try to make some stuff happen. Uh, really tried to ride the run game, though. Afton Cox against the Cougars was able to generate 42 yards on just 11 carries. It seems like he's probably going to get fed. Well, Thomas, a great athlete. As you see there on the screen, he's the 2020 AZ State wrestling champ. Great athlete, good speed. Uh, he, he needs to be able to have a, a big game tonight for the Redskins. Those are the ace hardware of the White Mountains keys to the game. Need a key made any day or night, any night of the week. Head to three locations of ace hardware of the White Mountains. It's going to be Round Valley at St. John's. The Elk are 2-0. and The Redskins 1-1. One and one. And it's all coming up here on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Sholo, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, Heber, Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real fresh Mexican food. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. 
Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at sholoford.com. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass cash back to you. Back at St. John's High School, where the Redskins are going to host the Round Valley Elk. Round Valley coming in 2-0, also breaking in a new coaching staff where Brad Baca is here, not just uh, trying to continue all of the success that really dates all the way back to Coach Seymour, but uh, trying to break in a quarterback. He talked about how he's a sophomore. You're a bit of a coach. <laughs> how, how, what are the, some of the troubles with trying to, try to make sure that you're able to con find some continuity while going with the lower classmen at such an important position? Well, it's, I think, especially in a rivalry game, you got to check emotions at the door, right? Do what you've practiced. Make sure that you've got the young man prepared, which I know Coach Baca has. He's uh, going to continue this tradition over here for the Elk. And, and speaking with some of the St. John folks, he's, he is a St. John's boy, so he knows this rivalry in and out. He knows the emotions that come with that, and uh, I would imagine he's had a good sit down with his young quarterback this week and told him, hey, this is your team. Let's go out there. We've prepared enough. Let, let's go make it happen. Let, let your work pay off on the field. We're going to do the Summit Regional Medical Center injury report. And from the best that we could discern, just by observing everything that's going on the sidelines, it looks as if both rosters are clean. Yeah, and I, we got sort of a quick report by some of the St. John folk as well. It sounds like uh, they're healthy coming into this matchup. I did see Trace and Merrill for the Elks. He's got a wrapped hand on his left hand, but it, he was out there taking full warm-ups. He's a uh, wide receiver and outside linebacker for the Elks, so keep an eye on that. But uh, he appeared no worse for wear. That's the Summit Regional Medical Center injury report. Good news seems to be abounding here in the early going for both teams. As both sides are lining up on their sidelines, it looks as if captains are getting ready to go out there and take part in the coin toss and if that is the case as they start moving up there you got Afton Cox and James Thomas going out for St. John's you see Wilt Bank Joe Von Ortiz who is one of uh, Marble's favorite targets are coming out in addition to a couple of biggins and we're talking about Keanu Clark as well as Kyler Rominger and we will go ahead and send it downstairs to the White Hat and Chuck Copeland. Well, no, we won't. Remember, this is just a football game. Let's play it hard, let's play it clean, good sportsmanship. This is a head, it's a tail. It's head, it's a tail. This coin was given to me by Mr. Sneed, who served our country, who we're honoring these weekends. So, you get a chance, pat him on the butt. He kind of likes that stuff. <laughs> Okay, you're going to call it, call it in the air. If I don't catch it, I will reflip it. Tails. Tails. It is a head, you get to choose. Okay, you round always won the toss. Which way would you, you want to kick this way? Never mind. All right, you guys come here. St. John's here. Okay, you guys won the toss and you will receive. Shake hands again, come out, play hard. All right, you heard it. St. John's wins the toss, wants the ball is they're going to kick it off right after this. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile.
You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Getting ready here at St. John's High School, where the Redskins have their second crack at a team from the 3A Conference this time around, Valley Elk. St. John's 1-1, one one, coming off of a big win at Globe, 60-7. to seven. Round Valley's already shown that it can travel going down and beat Phoenix Christian by a lot. Yeah, they, they've looked good on this young season so far, Derek. I, I think Round Valley is going to be another force to be reckoned with in this 3A East, and I'm excited to get our first look at them tonight. Let's go, Kings! What do you think about the Redskins taking the ball? You know, rivalry game, you want to go put points on the board. And, and especially, you've got to feel like they're coming in a little bit of the underdog here. They're, they're looking to catch lightning in the bottle here to start. James Thomas is back to receive the kick for the Redskins. Teeing it up and getting ready for the Elks is Kevin Flores. As Round Valley's got black hats, white tops, white pants on. And St. John's is wearing red. Just straight red. This is the Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it comes time to kick off your college education, head to NPC. It's got the lowest tuition in the state. As it's teed up, it's ready to go. Kicking into a bit of a breeze as Flores hits a low liner, starts bouncing around the far hash, and is going to stop right at the goal line where Thomas is going to take it. He's already at the 10, starts moving to his left along the 15, where he's going to be tripped up, runs through that tackler, stays up right before he gets to the 20. And if it had gone into the end zone, this is where they would have started. Yeah, I know about the same as uh, if he had just left it, and here we go. So here comes the first possession with Thomas remaining out there as the signal caller again against Sholo. Struggled through the air, 3 for 11, 27 yards, 3 interceptions. He had some success going, though, with the feet, especially a 42-yard run on the team's second possession. He's going to start from the shotgun. Cox standing on his left four receiver set with three coming to the near side low snap is had bobbled cox puts it on the deck as they could not get the exchange and round valley is saying they got it and they, and they do. do wow well definitely not what you were looking for if you're a st john's fan as i had mentioned taking that opening kickoff they were looking to put a drive together and turnovers are drive killers as we all know in football got to stay away from those i think that clark might have been there to recover it but that all kind of started with a really low snap, and it just Thomas couldn't get the ball up quick enough to have a clean exchange. So now great field position after the turnover. Round Valley with Riker Marble working from the shotgun, standing behind him and off to the right is Wiltbank. Gets the call, immediately forced to his left. Now slams on the brakes, trying to make something happen, running backwards along the 30. Now cuts it back to the near side where he's along the 33. Oh, he's looking got for room. some blockers where he's turning it up at the 25, spins at the 20, and then falls forward to the 17. He gained about five yards, but he ran about 30 to get him. Yeah, he went all the way over to the left, came back right, and there weren't many St. John's defenders. That was a good stop out there by number 40, Afton Cox and uh, Justin Thomas. That or sorry, James the, Thomas. Excuse the feel me. Of one of those where the coach is saying, no, no, yeah. no, no, good carry. <laughs> north and south, north and south. <laughs> Second down and five it is. Same formation. Two receivers going to the far side is going to be Ortiz as well as the second, can't see it. On the near side, Rowdy Rivera, as they're going that direction, throws him in the flat, it's behind him and off his hip, and nearly had Thomas been looking for it, could have been intercepted. Instead, it's gonna fall harmlessly incomplete. Interestingly, that's just the sixth incompletion that Marble has on court. Well, those are the incompletions as a head coach. You, you try to gather your breath because that ball's in the air. As you had mentioned, Derek, if they'd been looking for it, could have been in pick for the Redskins. Big play here for the St. John's defense after the early turnover on the first play from scrimmage. Round Valley in the red zone. Got a pretty stiff breeze blowing into him as now Wilpink moves to Marble's left. Again, two receivers going to the far side with Rowdy Rivera, the lone man on the right. Long snap here for the sophomore. Gives to Wilpink, goes right up the middle. He is already at the 10, falling forward to the 8, gains 9. 
and a first down. Comfort Fit Denture first down is what that is. Well, good, good run up the middle there by Wilbank. Good hole opened up by the offensive line. Redskin players uh, did not get a hand on him until the second level. So if that continues, that could be one of our keys to the game here to keep an eye on. Same formation with Wilbank just to the right. Now put a man in this H-back position as that looks to be Riley Harlan. Instead, the give goes to Wilbank, cuts to the left. He's already into the second level and down at the one, gain of eight as it was a first and goal situation, and now Wilpank's starting to really get some stuff to open up here in the early going. Well, once again, got to that second level. Tell Parker having to get in on the tackle for the second possession in a row. And that's what we had talked about at the beginning, Derek, that, that St. John's defense, they need to get some pressure up front and stop the run up the middle first. Make Wilpank go left and right rather than north and south. Actually push this one back to the three. So it'll be second and goal from the three. Two receivers going out wide left. Stockton Brown joins Ortiz. Again, Rivera, the lone man on the right. Put Wilkbank on Marble's left as he gets the call. This time runs to the right side, slips through a couple of tacklers at the line of scrimmage and is into the end zone for the score. A Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown, and the Elk are able to make good on the turnover here on their first possession, leading now 6 to nothing with an extra point coming. And sort of as we anticipated, Derek, just a steady dose of uh, Wiltbank there. Only one pass attempted by Marble. But uh, expect to see a lot of that same tonight with number one, Seth Wiltbank. There as you see him on your screen. Flores into kick it. Ooh, what a leg that's it been good as he splits him to make it seven to nothing here in the opening paragraph of the ball game. Nine minutes and 30 seconds to play in the first quarter, and the Elk have the early advantage. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable. Always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x ray. 928 888 0002. 928 888 0002. 7-0, Round Valley leading after the first play from scrimmage for St. John's was turned over. Afton Cox credited with the fumble, but it was really a three-player effort. Low snap, juggled exchange with James Thomas, and then 35 yards later, no, not quite that, 30, 27 yards later. We'll call it that. As Thomas just took one off the goal line, was able to take it 20 yards. This time it's a high hanger that pushes him to the left, and before it goes out of bounds, he fields it along the far sideline and then steps out of bounds. That might have been angling out of bounds, would have been a flag, and excellent field position. But trying to make a play down seven, and St. John's now is going to be not pinned, but it will be deep. Well, and as a coach, you always hate to fault effort, but there's also knowledge that needs to come in there and he's got to learn to just let that thing bounce out of bounds going to start on their own 10 we had said during the opener in the keys to the game brought to you by ace hardware of the white mountains that it suspected cox was going to be getting an awful lot of look they were going to him on the first one as they try to spread it out wide cox from the shotgun no they fake the handoff thomas goes over the right side now he's cutting back over the middle he's at the 20 and has enough for a comfort fit denture first down and they needed that big run from him yeah, good run there by Thomas. You can see why he wants to try to take over this thing a little bit. He's a great athlete, good hard runner. Good Push tackle it. in the open field there by the Round Valley Elks, too. Got to put it on the 21. Clock running at nine minutes and six seconds left. There's the first first down on just the second play. After Round Valley got points following the turnover, if nothing else, the Redskins trying to put together a drive. This time, Gibb does go to Cox. He's trying to spin away from a tackler who meets him at the line of scrimmage but cannot do so at the bottom of the pile, and disrupting that one, I think, is Trace and Merrill. Yeah, good tackle there by Trace and Merrill. You see him coming in off of his DN position there. Club, club and all, <laughs> as you can see on his hand there, number 10. It just makes him holding on for dear life all the more impressive as he uh, met him at the line, and Cox was spinning and twisting and trying to do everything to get away. Still winds up fighting for two yards, so make it second down and eight 
Four receivers, two on either side. Single man in the backfield again is Cox. Thomas from the shotgun, but it looked like there might have been movement. John. You heard that late, but it is a false start. Make it second down and 13. That was another problem that we watched the Redskins struggle with as uh, suggested at the time that it might have just been opening week jitters. But here in the early going, another procedure flag puts them behind the chains. Trailing 7-0, not where they wanted to be as a couple of players running in and out, especially Wes Scarborough. He's going to come out wide to the left, again going with two receivers on either side of the line, and again with Cox on Thomas's left. Short drop from the shotgun, now forced to move. Starts moving to, to the right. Ball fake as he's trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage and might even have a little bit more, but it's going to be third and long. Well, good attempt there by Thomas as he tried to fake out the defender, but staying home was number eight, Morgan Arona for the Elk. Just good defensive play there by Morgan. Third down and 10 after the big run of 12 by James Thomas on the opening play of this possession. Getting forced back five yards because of the procedure flag. This could be a more manageable third and five. Instead, facing a full-blown third and 10. Thomas, for the first time today, going to go under center. One running back deep is Cox, and there's more movement along the line of scrimmage, and another procedure flag is out. Prior to step. Fault start, 70, St. John's. That's Jay Wall, who uh, is listed as the center. Looked like it was the guard that moved, but I, I guess if a lot of people move, then it could be on the center, right, yes. if he didn't hike the ball. So losing 10 yards here. And now St. John's facing a third and 15. This does not seem as if uh, it's an advantageous position, a team that really wants to keep the ball on the ground, at least from what we've seen thus far. Well, maybe keep an eye on like a screen play, draw, you know, something like that, Derek, just to get that aggressive elk defense on their heels a bit. We'll see what St. John calls. Going back to the shotgun with Thomas. Drops to the, ooh, the left, looking this way. Now he's going to be flushed, and he's going to be pulled down. Keanu Clark is going to be there to eventually bring him down for a short loss and get credited with the sack and you'd think bring the punting unit out there. Well, and I felt like Thomas had his wide receiver. He's run a slant. Looked like he was open. Just must not must not have liked the look that he had there. Winters in to punt for St. John's. Rowdy Rivera is going to stand on his 48 and await as Scarborough now is laid off the sideline and no flag, so they're going to let this one play as Rivera now running up at, toward midfield. It comes off of his chest. He's able to gather. Now accelerates to the 40. He's down the near sideline over the 30 and finally brought down to the 25 by Scarborough and Thomas. But after again, it looked like disaster was awaiting the Elk. They are able to clean that up and get a nifty 25, yeah, 25-yard return. And Round Valley's offense is again starting an excellent field goal, or excuse me, field position. Well, went you, you can see the athleticism on, the on, on Rowdy Rivera there. Something that it looks almost disastrous. He's able to turn into a good positive gain on the punt. And something to keep of note there too, Derek. It looked like Thomas came up a little limp after making the tackle. He is out there on defense, so that's good to see for the Redskins. But maybe something to keep an eye on here. Wilt Bank, who has 23 yards on four carries, including the game's lone touchdown is standing behind his quarterback in Riker Marble, who is incomplete on his only attempt. 7-0 Elk lead as they fake the ball to Wilt Bank, dropping back now, looking over the middle, and nearly intercepted Scarborough, mistimes the jump. And then after it goes over him or through his hands, Ortiz could have made a play on it, and instead it's going to fall harmlessly, though excitedly, incomplete. Yeah, that one looked like that was going to be a good pick opportunity as Marble threw well behind the wide receiver. He did have Ortiz. If he hits him on the post the way that he was running it, throws it out in front, it's probably an easy touchdown. But uh, ball was behind him. Scarborough misses the opportunity. Marble was 16 for 21 on the season. Already 
with two incompletions. It's 40% of his output as he's working from the shotgun. Will Banks on his left. High snap behind Marble. He's going to fake the give. Now take it to the left side. Step around one tackler. He's at the 20. Still on his feet as he's at the 15-10. Diving for the pylon. Will be stopped inside the five. But hold on a minute. A flag was thrown right along the line of scrimmage. And this one seems as if it's probably coming back. Block in the back, number 21, Round Valley. Gannon Earhart whistle for blocking in the back. That's going to negate a 23-yard run there by Riker Marble. Well, for the first time, we get to see the athleticism of Marble. He, he looked good right there, made a good open field move. So something to keep an eye on here as this game progresses. Run negated, though, by the penalty, unfortunately. Make it second down in 20. Six minutes and 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. Round Valley already with a 7-0 lead. As Marble will have Wiltbank on his right. Three receivers with two coming to the near side. Oh, there are two men in the backfield. They're going to swing it out now to Wiltbank, who is in motion, catches it along the 35, steps around one tackler to get over the 30, and then falls forward to the 26. Gain of nine after Mannery gets the stop. Well, good play there by Wiltbank as he makes a guy miss early on and is able to pick up a good, what, eight, nine yards or so. Try to negate some of that penalty yardage. Third down, though, in 12. Seen Flores with a great leg, but he will be kicking into a pretty stiff breeze. Yeah, in warm-ups, I saw him hit from the 35-yard line, so he's got every bit of what he needs from right here. Again, with split backs, Earhart is in the backfield. Now Wiltbank in motion coming to the right. Marble instead looking to the left. He's again got a man. This time it's, or no, it's that's Rivera who can't get a hold of that one as it was underthrown. Marble probably thinking about the previous play down that hash line as he was uh, overthrowing that one. Overcompensates. It falls incomplete to make it fourth and 12. And as you saw in the replay there, great shot by our camera crew. They, Rowdy had a chance to come up with that, but he allowed it to get in on his pads. So it fell to the ground. But uh, not a horrible ball, but definitely not his best. Once again, the elk wide receiver had his man beat. So this would probably be in the neighborhood of 44 yarder. No sign of a punting unit or kicking unit. Beg your pardon. Fourth and 12 with the clock stopped at 517. Trips to the right, trying to set up a screen, looking initially for Wiltbank. Now he's going to tuck it. He's at the 25. He's surrounded by Redskins, and he's going to be dropped for no gain. Great pursuit there by number 40, Afton Cox. That's exactly what you want out of your stud linebacker right there. Or, sorry, defensive line is how they have him listed. I, I didn't see where he lined up before the play, but that was just great pursuit as Marble was taken off with some green in front of him. So the block in the back, had that not occurred, of course, had that not occurred, Marble might not have been able to run for 22 yards inside the five. Instead, set up uh, second and 20, and the Elk cannot capitalize after Rivera's big return down to the 25. Turnover on downs. Good field position to start here relative to where St. John's has been starting at the 25. Another low snap. Thomas picks this one off the deck. Tries to make something happen going up the middle, but it's going to be spun down. I think that was again Clark. Yeah, good defense there by the Elk. It looked like maybe Thomas was going to try to go to his running back, but the snap caused a few problems. But uh, good to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Redskins trail 7 to nothing, 4.45 to go here in the first quarter. All the action thus far has been happening inside the 35-yard line on the St. John's side of the field. Redskins with one first down, but also a turnover. As this time, they set up a man in motion as Richardson. He gets the call trying to side defense that stops him for no gain. Well, and you feel like this is a big possession here for the Redskins. If they can try to sustain something here, right, this is going to be a tall order once again at third and ten. But they need something positive to happen on offense here, Derek. I feel like if they can just get one of those little momentum plays, it might shift some things here for them. Scarborough's off the sideline. So in a passing situation, seems as if St. John's is trying to get its best pass catchers out there. Is Thomas again going to operate from the shotgun? Just one time, he went under center. It resulted in a procedure flag. Three receivers to the left, and that's the direction he's looking. Ball fake now as he's going to be pressured. Really, no, Clark is going to get there and bring him down as well as Wiltbank. Yeah, great pursuit there. Keanu Clark is just having himself a game. I think we've called his number a handful of times now already. And once again, just in the backfield there of the Redskins to blow things up offensively. 
Loss of seven on the sack. Sets up fourth and 18 as Winters again going to come out and punt. And again, standing just inside his own territory is Rowdy Rivera. Gets away a boomer. Rivera back to the 35, has this one again off his fingertips. I think he contacted that as he finally puts a fork in it at the 20. St. John's with coverage, and they're going to bring him down to the 21. Richardson there to make the stop and turning the field around for the first time off of a great punt by Winters. Well, great punt coverage there. You had number 32, Asher Rabin, down there to start. And then to clean up the mess is JT Richardson. Just a great punt coverage. And what a punt, too. He, he caught that about his 10-yard line, kicked it all the way down here to the 25. So good boot. Round Valley beginning a possession in its own territory for the first time tonight. 3.06 to go in the first quarter. The Elk leading 7-0 after the first play from scrimmage by St. John's was fumbled. Four plays later, the Elk were in the end zone. Now having to work up almost 80 yards to try to get the score number two. Marble with the shotgun snap, throws this one between his two receivers, and Ortiz is a little bit frustrated. Now we talked about it at the top, Derek. You asked me sort of what hey, this young quarterback would feel like in a rivalry game. I, you know, I, I feel like everything's either long, short. You know, he hasn't really found that rhythm quite yet. Ortiz again coming to the near side as well as Stockton Brown. Rivera again, all by himself, this time on the left. Handed off, though, to Wilpank, spinning around of one tackler, but he's going to be brought down by another as Richardson was the first man to him. Jordan Mannery was there as well to make it now third down and eight. Well, this is exactly what the doctor ordered if you're the Redskins. A good, good flip of the field, and now a long third down for the Elk. They need to come up with a big defensive stop right here. Marble in a passing situation, now one for five, nine yards. Again, going with the same formation as Ortiz lined up in the slot with now split backs behind Marble. Fake the handoff and now give it off in the pitch to Wiltbank, but it was read like a book by the Redskins, and he is dropped for a short gain of one. Great stop by St. John's right there. They had every aspect of that play covered. Afton Cox there to get the stop. Folks. And now the punting unit coming out with the most aggressive wind that we have seen as yet. Blowing straight into their face right here. So we'll see what type of leg uh, Marble has back there to do the punting duties. Thomas walking backwards. He's now at his 42. Marble with a clean snap. Puts a foot into it. It's angling away from Thomas. Gets held up around the 45 and will bounce out of bounds at the St. John's 44. So that big punt from Winters now paying dividends on the offensive side as the Redskins are going to come out starting on their own 44 with a minute and 38 seconds to play in the first quarter. Trailing just 7 nothing. Here comes James Thomas who has yet to attempt a pass. It looks like he's wanted to a couple of times. But the Round Valley defensive front especially Keanu Clark, has really been getting into the backfield and disrupting. That has kind of set the stage for Thomas to create with his feet and is giving Afton Cox a break. Chase Gray coming out to serve as the running back as it's a three-receiver set. Man coming in motion from the right to the left is Rabin, who instead they're going to go with Gray. Or is that a direct? That was no, a direct no, was, snap, yeah. Thomas is carrying that one as he is able to approach the 50. Gain of six. Good first down play there by the Redskins as we see them gain positive yards on first down for the first time here in a couple of possessions. Again, just the one first down, but it ought to be noted, Brown Valley also has yeah. only moved the chains once, though they did punch it into the end zone afterwards. So, well, St. St. John's has seemed to find their rhythm on defense a little bit. They've stopped Wilbank the last couple series. I formation lining up behind Thomas, who's under center. Handoff goes to Richardson, who has met at the line, but he's able to spin forward, get into Round Valley territory for the first time after a two-yard gain. Merrill there with the stop for the Elk. Well, third and short here coming up for the Redskins as they've found a little bit of success here on the line going up the middle. Maybe see if they stretch something here, Derek. But uh, as we approach the second quarter, they may just elect to keep it on the ground, punch it up the middle, see if they can get the hard three yards. Cox on the sideline still. Scarborough comes off, and he replaces Winters, lining up wide left. 25 seconds to play here. The Redskins facing third and three. Crowding the line of scrimmage are the Elk as the give goes to Gray. He's able to slide by Wilbank, fall forward, and pick up a first down. That was actually Parker who was there on the carry. 
Well, St. John's went real big right there, as you saw three lead blockers for Tell Parker. And they were able to find the edge for him and uh, get him up into the Elks second unit, or excuse me, second tier for the first half. Six yard gain and a comfort fit denture first down as that may wind up being the final play of the first quarter. And right now, the two plays of the quarter, the fumble on the first carry for the Redskins leads to the only touchdown with Round Valley punching it in from 27 yards out. But the big punt that turned the field around by Jordan Winters has provided the Redskins with this opportunity to start the second quarter in Round Valley territory, though they trail seven to nothing. Well, on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass. Play after the break is going to go with Thomas as he runs through an arm tackle and gets over the 35. Merrill is there with the eventual stop, but James Thomas with a seven-yard carry, make it eight yards on first down. And right now the Redskins' offense is gaining some confidence, Abe. Well, more importantly, too, now, Derek, they're they're finding sort of that rhythm that, that the Elk, after their first possession, have not been able to find offensively. So here come the Redskins. We'll see if they can sustain the drive here. Push it down to the Round Valley, 34, second down, calling it a very long one. Trailing 7-0 here with 11.22 to go in the second quarter. Man in motion, and instead they're going to go with Cox, who is going to carry a tackler down to the 25, have a comfort fit denture first down after another gain of eight. Well, they've got the Elk on their heels right here. If you're the Redskins, just keep pounding that ball with your running game. See what they can get going here. Again, right now, what looks like you can make the argument is a straight line play of the game. Going to wait and see if they can get any points for it, but Jordan Winner's big punt that took Rowdy Rivera all the way back to his 20, turned the field around, and after a three and out, the Redskins trying to take advantage. The handoff goes Cox, tries the left side, gets stood up. Now oh, he's he stripped, it's fumbled away and recovered by Merrill, who I believe got in there and did the stripping. Wow, what a what a big defensive play by the Elk there as they shift momentum back to them. And uh, you can see Trace and Merrill right there clutching onto that football. Armando Garcia stripped, and then Merrill fell on it for the second turnover that the Round Valley defense is forced. That gets the defense out of the frying pan now. Let's see if the offense can sort of reclaim the mojo that had fallen away after that first possession. Wilt Bank still the leading carrier with 26 yards as he is standing on Marble's left. Fake the handoff to him. Marble wants to keep, but he is going to get spun around, though tackled forward for a short gain of two. JT Richardson there with the stop. A good defensive play there by the Redskins again. This is their chance now to seize that momentum back as they had a good drive going. They, they need someone to come up with a big stop here and make a, big, make a play. Almost seems as if Coach Baca right now is trying to get other players involved by using Wiltbank as a bit of a decoy. Though it ought to be noted, his last three carries have generated just four yards, though one of them came from two yards out. He's on the left again, marble from the shotgun, three receivers with Rivera alone on the left. This time it is handed off to Wiltbank. He stutter steps to get over the 35. He's at the 40 and approaches a first down, but stops short. That good stop there by Cox to hang on for dear life as it looked like Wiltbank had a lot of green in front of him if he could have could have broken that tackle. One thing I liked on that pl defensive play by the Redskins, they sort of left the the center uncovered. They spread everyone out, and then they blitzed their two middle linebackers. So see if maybe that's a shift in their approach here defensively. 9.40 to play in the half. 7-0 Round Valley leading after the second turnover, facing third down and two. This time move Rivera all alone on the right side. Wiltbank moves over to Marble's right. 
Two men split wide left as Marble from the shotgun hands off to Wilt Bank as he is tripped up and it's all going to depend upon the spot and it looks like it's generous. Man, I don't know about that spot, Derek. Look at the replay here. Yeah, I guess he did sort of dive forward, but looked to me like his knee hit well beyond where he was at, but uh, you called it though. They're going to give a pretty generous spot and give the Elk a first down. I didn't see who made that trip. It Chase Gray was able to get in there and knock him down, but uh, that might have prevented Wilpink from getting a much, much larger gain. Instead, it goes for a comfort fit Dencher first down. 7 0, Round Valley leading here in the second quarter with nine minutes and three seconds to play. Moving the chains after they force the second turnover again, and Afton Cox fumble. Two receivers coming out wide on either side. That comes with Rivera as well as Dallin Walker. Ortiz is in the slot on the right. Now he's in motion, moving to the left side. Going to give it to him on a handoff. Turns it up at the 40. Uses the block to get along the 45. Turns it up again at the 50 before he runs out of bounds. And we'll have a comfort fit Dencher first down after that 11-yard gain. Well, great play there by the Elk as they lined up in what looked to be a passing situation and then brought Ortiz over from his wide receiver slot and uh, got him the ball. Another dynamic athlete for the Elks as you see the speed on Ortiz to get to the edge. Moves into St. John's territory. I got to give him another three yards. I'm sure changing the young man. 14 yard gains to pick up that comfort fit denture first down. Same formation. Ortiz again in the slot on the right. Rivera likewise on the left of the line with Wilpink on his quarterback's left. Marbles in the gun. Give is given this time to Wilpink. Trying to get to the right side. Jumps over a tackler at the 45. Tackled forward to the 41. Afton Cox is there with the stop, but another six yard gain for Wilpink. Yeah, look at the nifty move right there on the replay as Wilt Bank as he hurdles a few St. John's guys as well as his own to get himself a good seven-yard gain. 40 yards now on nine carries for Wilt Bank. He talked about trying to reestablish that rhythm, and it looks like they've done so. Now bringing in still another pass catcher, Jordan Elmer, is split wide to the right, going with two receivers on either side, Rivera and Ortiz. In either slot as Marble moves Wilpink to his right, drops back from the shotgun, rolling in that direction. One to initially come back to the left side and said he's going to go oh, looking for it. Ortiz. Caught at the 10 where he's going to be run out of bounds, but a big gainer on second and three where they needed just the three yards and instead gained 30. What are we talking there, 44 yards? Why not? That sounds great. <laughs> not just. Bottom line is that was a beautiful ball by Marble. They ran a little wheel route with Ortiz, got him out on single coverage, and Marble put it where only Ortiz could get it. Just a beautiful ball by the young sophomore quarterback. 30, 34 yards. So I shortchanged Ortiz three yards on the run. I tried to give him another 10. All of our stats are official, by the way. <laughs> First and goal, seven minutes and 17 seconds left in the half. 7 nothing. Round Valley leading but threatening as Wiltbank gets the call going right up the gut, stopped by two Redskins. Chase Gray was there first, stopping him just inside the five. Gain of three, make it second and goal. Well, once again, the Redskins plugging up that middle on Wiltbank. At this spot in the field here, you're inside the five. I, I would imagine we just see a steady diet of number one here for the Elk. Got bigness going off to the right side, and Brandon Strickland, a senior, as there's split backs along either side of Marble. Earhart there on the left. They're going to go with him as he again tries to dive up the middle, but is going to be stopped right around the line of scrimmage. He might have even lost a yard. I guess goes to show what I know. Once again, <laughs> you know, I try to be like Tony Romo but I just can't, Derek. I, it's, well, no matter how hard I try, it just doesn't very work. Very few people are that good looking. <laughs> I was going to say announcing abilities, but yeah, you know, <laughs> good looking. I, I, I don't hold a candle. So. Earhart there is credited for getting back to the line of scrimmage. So make it third down and goal from the three. Going with the same formation, Earhart on the left, Wiltbank on the right. And a snap gets by Marble, but it's gathered on one clean hop by Wilt Bank, who's going to try to dive for the end zone and get in. It looked like there might have been. Oh, they did throw a flag. It looked like Rivera was blocking in the back, and that's going to, again, negate a big running play, this time salvaging disaster, but not without the aid of an illegal block. And just as had happened at midway point in the first quarter, here five minutes. Blocking in the back, 24 wide. 
Five minutes and 46 seconds to play in the second. This one actually pulls a touchdown off the board. Well, an almost disaster for the Elk there, but uh, Wiltbank, the senior leader with the heads up play to get that ball, if, if not for the uh, clip, he's got himself a second touchdown on the night. Wiltbank benefiting from a huge candy hop, but still was able to put his hands on it, not just that, but go. As this time he's gonna line up on the left, five receivers set, nobody's in the backfield with Marble. Ortiz coming in motion, they fake the handoff. Trying to go over the middle where he's looking for Rivera, and he's got it caught for the score. A Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown, 21 yards, no, 16 yards between Marble and Rivera. Well, as you see on the replay there, just perfectly thrown ball there by Marble as he's able to get it up over the Redskin defense. And Rowdy Rivera makes up for negating the touchdown on the previous play with the block in the back. He is able to get the receiving touchdown. It was all part of his master plan. <laughs> Flores in to attempt the extra point with his team leading 13 nothing after the 16-yard passing play. Kick is away. Yeah, no good. And no good. Right. Pushed it to the right. So keep it at 13 nothing. Both Round Valley touchdowns come after St. John's fumbles, but still the Elk leading 13 nothing with 5.17 to go in the half. It's Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Nearly going what may be the straight line, uh, Beeler Orthodontic straight line play of the game. And right now, I think he got to go with Armando Garcia's strip that has given Round Valley its second touchdown after the second fumble forced by the Elk. Well, that felt like a huge play as the Redskins were driving. They put together th four straight first downs just running the ball. And that, that tackle and fumble caused a big one. Short kick is contacted by Park. Nope. Tomas Jimenez, hey, I believe. Right. There we go. That was the uh, Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to NBC. It's the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona. Then St. John's right now having established some offensive mojo that was disrupted by the fumble. But nothing else right now. It's got to be telling itself, hey, we can move the ball. Just yeah. demonstrated they can move the ball. No, no doubt. And if you're James Thomas as the senior captain leader on that team in that huddle, you've got to say, guys, we got to do this. This is our time. Five minutes to go. We've got to go get on the board. 13-0, Round Valley leading. As Gray goes in motion, heading to the left side. Thomas is going to keep it, also going in that direction. Bounces off tacklers at the line of scrimmage. Stays on his feet before eventually being brought down for a two-yard game. Yeah, and they, they tried to get Thomas going right there. Bounced off of a couple of tacklers, but uh, this Round Valley team, they're just, they're really good up front, Derek. That's what I'm learning early on in this game. They've done a great job of plugging holes up front initially. Second down and eight as Thomas now, eight carries for 24 yards, the leading rusher for the Redskins who Trying to just hang on to the ball. Remember, Round Valley is going to get the ball. Is instead blown up in the backfield and stopped for a big loss. Merrill there with the stop as Richardson was on the carry, and he loses three. Man, Trace Merrill just continues to have himself a ball game, club hand and all. He's been wreaking havoc in the backfield all night for the Elk on the defensive side of the ball. So now passing situation. Four minutes and five seconds, and again, Round Valley going to get the ball to start the second half. Leading 13-0. That's Rabin that is in the backfield. As dropping back, rolling to the right side, dropping this one off. No, that's actually Rabin who's going to lose the football as he is being brought down by Rivera, and it's again recovered by Round Valley. Shoot, tough break there for Asher Raven as he ran a great route, got open. And uh, as he's trying to make a little bit of extra yardage, gets the ball stripped. I didn't see who was on the strip out there. That's my fault. Oh, it was congested. I think I think Rivera was hopping up uh, 
looking um, pleased with his effort. Is I think there's a timeout hey, taken. Round Valley in excellent field position again after the third St. Andy, John's fumble. The, the Elk lead 13 nothing with 3:44 to go in the half. It's Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Sholo, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, Heber, Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real fresh Mexican food. Timeout was taken by which side? By St. John's. St. John's. Again, starting a defensive possession deep in their own territory. This one's on the 33-yard line after the third fumble. Trips going to the right side. Now a man in motion is Rivera. Fake the handoff to both. He and Will Bank as they're going over the middle. Where they're looking for Garcia, but the Odados Ortiz, who was a little overthrown and behind him, but he was open. Yeah, once again, the Elk wide receivers were just running unchecked in the secondary of the Redskins and uh, just mar Marble missed his ball again. We've seen a couple of really good throws, and then we've seen a few where you just go, yep, that's a sophomore playing quarterback right now. I, he's, he's got every bit of the look to him. Yes. He can be good, right? No, and, and despite the uh, sometimes errant passes, uh, if nothing else, he's given his guys a chance to run underneath it. Really good ball out of the sophomore's yes. hand. Well, lefty too. We don't see too many lefty quarterbacks. Four receivers set with three going to the right side. Will Bank on Marble's right. Second down in 10 with the clock stopped at 3.37 to go in the half. Handoff goes. Will Bank has to stop as he has to make a man miss in the backfield, and that allows three or four St. John's tacklers to get there. Richardson was there first. Yeah, good gang tackle right there by the Redskins as you see five guys just piled up onto Will Bank. And a big third down play right here for the Redskins. This has every bit of the feel of a big momentum shift. You turn the ball over deep in your territory, you've got to keep the elk out of out of the end zone here and out of getting a first down right now. Clock running at 3.08 here, third down. They're calling it 10. Going with the same formation. Single man on the near side is Walker, is Wilt Bank, starting in the backfield along Marble's right. A little bit of pressure coming from the near side off the edge. Marble rolling in the opposite direction as he's got a man open again as he gets behind the defense. That's Ortiz. Is he going to catch it at the five and walk into the end zone for the Mountain Mobile Autoglass score as it looked as if his defender had fallen down? And I think that's the same play where they ran it with Rowdy last time where they did the wheel route. Ortiz coming out of the backfield and uh, just gets lost in the shuffle there. Good ball by Marble. Jovan Ortiz with his second catch. That one a 33-yard touchdown. 77 yards. Marble now four for nine for 92 yards and two scores as Flores is out. And they want to try a fake after missing the last extra point. But the officials say hold on a minute as it looks as if the Redskins were offsides. Now, after having shown their intention to fake, a couple of players shuttling in and out. They've been moved half the distance to the goal. So I think they're just going to go ahead and line up and uh, just see which big boys can push harder, huh? Again, going to spread some receivers out wide as Wilt Bank is in the backfield as well as Earhart. Earhart's been given some short yarded situation looks here. As they will try it. No, they're going to keep it. Now pitch back out. Marble trying to get it to Wiltbank, who dives into the end zone for the two points and make it 21 0 with two minutes and 45 seconds left. Again, all three Round Valley scores following St. John's fumbles as the Elk lead 21 0, 245 to go here in the first half. It's Solo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk 106.7.
I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972 Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash back to you. First half have been Round Valley forcing turnovers and capitalizing on each of them. Three fumbles, three scores, 21 nothing. The Elk lead with two minutes and 45 seconds left. Thomas is waiting at his five-yard line. This NPC kickoff is going to get over his head with that stiff breeze blowing behind him. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to NPC. It's got the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona. So 80 yards separating the Redskins from their first score. Now down 21 to nothing. Shown on one of their previous drives, their penultimate, in fact, that they could move the football, but wound up putting that one on the deck. Couldn't take advantage of good field position at that point. And uh, really, if nothing else, they, they just got to, again, reestablish themselves, go into the locker room with something to feel good about. Yeah, definitely. You, you've got to find some rhythm offensively again. And uh, the last three minutes of this game, Derek, might point back at the end and go, this is where a lot of things shifted. Thomas under center, handoff Cox. Trying to go up the middle, but he stood up by a couple of elk and dropped for a very short gain of two. Clark, the first man there for Round Valley. We've been calling his name an awful lot from the interior of that line. Yeah, between him and Trace and Merrill, they're, they're pretty set up there on that defensive line, aren't they? St. John's in no hurry, trailing 21 and probably reluctant to give it back to Round Valley. As they're going to put Thomas into the shotgun, Rabin matched up on the outside against Rivera. Receivers on either side as Thomas fakes the handoff, tries to run over the right side of his line, but he's going to be tripped up. Rominger is going to be the first one there to trip him up, and Thomas is again a little late getting up, but now he is up, but just as he does so, Round Valley takes a timeout with two minutes even to play in the half. St. John's going to be facing third and eight while trailing 21. It's Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Two minutes to go, 21 nothing. third down and seven. St. John's trying to avoid giving it back to Round Valley with ample time. The Elk are still going to have two timeouts if they're able to get the stop. So one would think that St. John's would be inclined to try to keep it on the ground, but with those timeouts, probably just going to try to find seven yards wherever they're best able. As Thomas with the short drop draw play set up for Cox, who met at the line, but he's able to run through one arm tackle, spinning oh, around at the 30, and he's going to be very close to a comfort fit denture first down. It's going to be dependent upon the spot. And right now, it looks like they're going to think about it. I feel like he no, got it for sure, him. yeah. A comfort fit denture first down indeed. A great run there by Afton Cox. That's. That's just a lot of want to right there. I think yes. he was hit by three or four different elk players and uh, even had his hand down on the ground at one point and made that extra effort to get it, the first down. It was Garcia who had jarred the ball free on his last possession that met him at the line, but he was able to stay on his feet and run right through it. Now with 90 seconds to go, mission accomplished to a point there for St. John's as Thomas drops back, initially looking right, back to the left, runs out of time, wants to run with it as he's down to the near sideline over the 30 before he's spun out of bounds. And a flag comes out in the backfield that usually does not bode well for the offense. Okay. Holding St. John's number 70. Steve 7-0. So that pulls another couple of yards gained by Thomas off the board. Move St. John's back 10, but that I think is the least of the Redskins' concerns at this point. Trailing 21 with a minute and 18 to go into the half. Hey, by the way, stick around at halftime. It'll be the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport Report. We'll tell you what's been going on and who the early stars are. Maybe even take a peek at our superlatives as three receivers coming out. Again, two going to the left. Third, first down calling at 25 as a low snap is brought in. 
Handoff goes to Gray as he comes to the right side and is going to be eventually brought down as Rominger is there flirting with a horse collar but able to keep his hand legal. Oh, good run there by Gray as he came off that right side. Good blocking up front by the big guys for the St. John's Redskins. Ten yards there for Gray. Yeah, great, great run. More importantly, good blocking. They were able to keep uh, – they came to Trace and Merrill's side right there, and they had him occupied with two blockers. So good play by the Redskins. 30 seconds remaining in the half. Second down and 15. This could very well be the end of it. As there, the shotgun snap had by Thomas trying to set up a screen play where he's going to get it to Gray. A looping pass, though, is going to be allowing Arona a chance to track him down and drop him for a loss. Now, good idea by the Redskins there. I like that as they were taking advantage of the uh, – aggressiveness of the elk there but good good defensive play there by arona to stay home that's what you're taught to do as a linebacker you've got to read that around valley taking a timeout with one second left oh, rivalry it's, a, games. it's a rivalry game <laughs> <laughs> and nothing's gonna come easy well 21 nothing the elk leading and again all three points uh, he scores 21 points. It's been a long day. <laughs> Coming off of three turnovers, uh, is there any sort of bright side to that scenario that you can carve out for the Redskins? Man, I, I can't think of any right now, Derek. I, they looked really good on two drives, and, and they looked like they, they can do this against the Elk, but, man, just those turnovers are killer, aren't they? You know, as we sort of like what I would mentioned a moment ago, I think we're going to look back on that fumble – and that third down and 10 play where they get the touchdown to go up 21-0, I, that's, th those are big plays in a rivalry game like this, momentum shifters that change the face of a game. Facing third down and 20 with just one tick. Round Valley putting some defensive backs well beyond the line as Thomas going to pitch this one out to Cox, trying to get along to the near side, but instead brought down at the 31. It'll be a, a gain, well, no gain. And that is how the half ends with Round Valley leading 21 to nothing using three St. John's fumbles to pace themselves out to this three-score advantage heading into the locker room. Again, 21 nothing, Round Valley leading as we will come after this and start the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport Halftime Report during Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. 
Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Sholo, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, Heber, Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real, fresh Mexican food. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass cash back to you. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Halftime at St. John's, 21-0, Round Valley in the lead as we take you through the scoring that started after the first play from scrimmage was fumbled on a bad snap that was kind of juggled by the quarterback, then incapable of putting a fork in it. Afton Cox credited with the fumble, but really, again, said at the time it was a three-man effort, and that starts a 27-yard drive that is punctuated by a two-yard Wilt Bank carry. At the time, he had four carries and 23 yards, and it really looked like it was going to get away from St. John's in the early going and the ensuing kickoff that looked like it was angling out of bounds. Instead, Thomas fields it, is winding up running out of bounds at the 10. It's going to force a punting situation after they do pick up a first down, but a short kick bounces off of Rowdy Rivera's chest. He's able to gather in the fumble and run it 25 yards. Great field position to start for Round Valley, and it looked like they were going to start really piling it on. But after a big run was pulled off the board, after uh, Riker Marble had taken what looked like it was going to be first and goal inside the five. An illegal block brought him all the way back to the 35. The Elk couldn't capitalize after the big special teams play and wound up turning it over on downs. Then uh, teams exchanged punts. And again, we were talking at the time, it looked as if St. John's had uh, really had a big play from Jordan Winters that might turn the game around after they uh, kick it over Rivera's head. Push Brown Valley back to its own 20. Yep. Force a three and out. And then Benefit starting their, down, uh, their ensuing possession on the 44. And start moving it deeper into Round Valley territory. But another fumble is going to start a 67-yard drive. This time punctuated on a 16-yard pass between Marble and Rivera. You talked about that one coming on a big third down after a block in the back. Pushed them back to the 16. And uh, that... that felt kind of like it might have been a breaking point there for St. John's. Yeah, no doubt. And especially in a rivalry game like this, you, you can't afford to have the turnovers that they've had, and you can't afford to have the big plays like that one right there. Um, we just saw it on the replay. Ortiz is running completely alone down the sideline, <laughs> and uh, here we find ourselves 21 nothing. and Redskins need to figure out something to claw back into this game in the second half. That play that you just saw came after the third St. John's fumble. It was a 33-yard pass between Marble and Ortiz to give Round Valley this 21-point lead, and the Elk also going to get the ball to start. We are in the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport halftime report. Round Valley leading at St. John's 21 to nothing. We'll continue the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport report right after this. It's Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk 106.7 and italk1067.com. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. 
Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass cash back to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise at Comfort Fit Dentures, You'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Sholo, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, Heber, Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real fresh Mexican food. 21 nothing here at St. John's, Round Valley leading. This is the Honda Ski and Outdoors Resport Halftime Report. As we take a look at some of the numbers, especially Seth Wiltbank, 11 carries for 44 yards. He also has a reception for nine yards. Jovan Ortiz has one carry for 14 yards. Riker Marble has two carries for two, but at least one occasion looked like he was going to get many, many more than that, though he has been doing an awful lot of damage through the air. He's four for nine, two touchdowns, 92 yards. Favorite receiver thus far has been Ortiz, who has two catches for 77 yards. Wiltbank caught a swing pass out, got nine out of that one. Rowdy Rivera with a touchdown, 16 yards out for the Redskins. James Thomas has been doing most of the damage, nine carries, 26 yards, though he did lose seven on a sack. So quite a bit of his production removed because of that. Afton Cox, six carries for 19 yards. Thomas through the air. 
has uh, two completions. He's two for two, but they've gone for negative one yards. Yeah, and it, you know, honestly, as I'm listening to those stats, Derek, if I'm Coach Mike Morgan for the Redskins, I'm feeling great about where we're at with Wiltbank, right? I mean, he's he's averaging close to 10 yards a carry, and we've got him at around 4.4, 4, 5 yeah. yards a carry. So, it, man, if, if you came in with a game plan to slow him down, you've done that. Once again, though, it's those turnovers and big pass plays by, by Marble. You know, we've talked about the sophomore at length here. I feel like he's sort of settled in, especially in that second quarter. He hit a couple of good bombs. And, uh, you know, the young man's playing good here in the rivalry. We'll see if that continues in the second half. Let's take a look at the glass-shattering hit of the game, and I think it's going to be a difficult uh, job to get to Armando Garcia away from that honor after he forces the second fumble that is going to lead to the second Round Valley touchdown. It was, of course, recovered by Merrill. The two of them have been making an awful lot happen up along the front, but uh, the glass-shattering hit of the game brought to you by Deemer's Glass for all your ne- glass needs. Call 1-888-GLASSMAN. As, uh, that could also make a case for being the straight-line play of the game brought to you by Beeler's Orthodontics. Lift a smile. Love your smile, but I want to go back to that 16-yard pass. After the touchdown is pulled off of the board, mm-hmm. Rivera is able to gather in who was guilty of the blocking infraction to then get the 16-yard touchdown to make it 14 nothing and really put Round Valley in control. But what are you looking at as far as the player the play of the game goes? Well, I, I, think, I think you're right on point with that one with Rowdy Rivera. That was Marble's best ball of the game because Rowdy was covered fairly well by St. John's on that play. He ran the wheel route. Covered pretty well. Marble put it right on the money, only where he could get it. And and once again, another big turn of events. It seems to be the theme tonight for the Elk. They've they've been in some tough situations. You know, you get a touchdown called off the board right there, you're maybe a little demoralized, but they came back, hit the touchdown pass on the 16-yard pass. I, and, and then once again, the other big play to Ortiz to put them up 21 to nothing. He was wide open. It, it was didn't take a lot by Marble to hit him, but, man, I – that one just sort of deflated the whole stadium. So, you know, St. John's, they've got to come out and find some of these momentum changers here, put together a drive, put some points on the board. I think you'll start feeling a lot better for yourself as a Redskin fan. This one's going to be tight, but the Alberto's player of the game, Alberto's real fresh Mexican food. You got Marble, who's thrown for 92 yards. You got Wiltbank, who's run for 44 yards. They've combined, they got the two touchdown passes for Marble, Wiltbank with the one on the ground. But also Rivera has 16-yard touchdown reception, just a one offensive play, but forced a fumble as well. Mm-hmm. You could also go along that front line. Don't want to forget the Keanu Clark, yeah. who's been blowing stuff up. So at this point, there's an awful lot of Round Valley Elk who are making a play for that Alberto's player of the game. Yeah, and they're, they're playing well in all facets. It's sort of what we expected to see out of the Elk. It's been good to see them for the first time this year. But, you know, we've sort of set it off camera a few times there. It's just... Man, year after year, they just find kids over there in Round Valley that can play some football. And I guess they're not finding them. They, you know, it's the good youth program. It's all those things that go into it, right? But, uh, man, just year after year, and, and it looks like Coach Brad Bach and his staff have got another good group. Got the second half starting up after this. This has been the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport Halftime Report. And we'll start the second half on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on ITOC 106.7 and ITOC1067.com right after this. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536-5972. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash Back to you. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. 
You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. St. John's won the toss and elected to receive to start the ball game, so the Redskins set to kick it off here to begin the second half. 21-0 Round Valley leading as this, the Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to NPC, the lowest tuition in the state. Ortiz and Wiltbank are deep. As setting to kick this off here, I think it's... Is that Leo Hernandez, 58? I believe it is. So now, after taking a gander, the Elk move up toward the 50-yard line. Perhaps skeptical that this Northland Pioneer College kickoff is, uh, in fact, going to be kicked, excepting, expecting something more of a squib. Will Bank is on the far side of the field, Ortiz along the near hash. As bringing it in, Hernandez approaches. And Boots, it's angling toward Ortiz. He takes it, a low liner right inside the 10, already at the 20. Looking for some blockers as he cuts to the left at the 30. Trying to bounce it further outside along the 30. Now gets to the 35 to the far sideline where he's spun down over the 41. Winters gets him, but a big Ortiz run back after the kick, about a 33-yard return in pretty good field position to start the second half here for Round Valley. Uh, looked like he had a bit going there on the kickoff return, did Ortiz, but uh, good string out there by the Redskins. So here comes Riker Marble, the sophomore and southpaw. Four for nine, two touchdowns, 92 yards. Wilt Bank set to join him in the backfield. He has 11 carries for 44 yards. But you mentioned at halftime, Abe, they have cut his yards per carry in half, have the Redskins, as Wilt Bank's going to go out, split wide, two receivers to the left, trips to the right, empty backfield for Marble. St. John's looks like it's uh, expecting him to run with it as they're crowding the line of scrimmage. Now Wiltbank in motion, fake the handoff, Marble will take it. He goes over the left side of the line to the 45 and again spun forward by Afton Cox, a gain of five. And there's something about these Round Valley runners, they're almost always being tackled forward. Yeah, they, they're just hard-nosed kids, man. They get in there and just keep those legs churning. Good play by the Elk right there, too, as they lined everyone up over here on the near side and ran it misdirection with Marble off the left. Five-yard pickup, second down and five. First play or first possession here in the second half as they again go with that same formation, an empty backfield for Marble. As he turns, looking into the flat where he's got it to Wilt Bank, caught into the St. John's Watch territory. Out. He's along the far sideline at the 40, the 30, running through two tacklers as he's along the far sideline all the way to the end zone, in for the score. A Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown. It's going to go from 44 yards out, 56 yards out. Wow, and I, you just knew there was trouble right there for the Redskins as you had two players out there needed to take Wilt Bank on one-on-one, -on -one, and that's just a tough assignment for anyone up here on the mountain. 58 seconds in, and Round Valley poised to go up 28 with this Flores extra point pending, and it's good. So a very quick drive. Makes it 28 nothing. St. John's with an awful lot of heavy lifting to do on the offensive side, trailing four scores with still 11.02 to play in the third. Show the Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable. Always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x ray. 928 888 0002. 928 888 0002. So, less than a minute into the third quarter. 
St. John's trailing another touchdown. James Thomas, who's been busy, set to receive this Northern Pioneer College kickoff when it's time to kick off your college education. Head to NPC. It's got the lowest tuition in the Grand Canyon State. Flores is going to kick it off. Got the ball teed up on his 40-yard line. Puts a boot into it. Thomas approaches and takes it at the 5 with some momentum. He's at the 10, 15, 20. Oh, he's going to lay some tacklers as he gets to the 40. Through another one as he's at midfield. Trying to go all the way. He's down the far sideline at the 30. James Thomas goes 90 yards. And the first Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown for the Redskins. And no handkerchiefs on the field. So what a, what a run there by Thomas. I sort of knew it around the 25. He had that lane, Derek, and he took it to the house. Shows his athleticism. Well, he got to approach that one, and again, kicking into that breeze. Looked like it kind of knocked Flores' effort down a bit and allowed him to approach that with a full head of steam. And the Redskins are telling everybody to not change that dial because they're not done. 28 to 6, and out to try an extra point is, who is that? It's again Hernandez. Big 58, Leo Hernandez again. That's blocked. Blowing that one up and getting inside was Rominger. Kyler Rominger gets there to block it and make it 28-6 to with 10 minutes and 49 seconds. It has been quite a minute and 11 seconds to start <laughs> it off. But the Round Valley Elks still with a three-touchdown lead. Here on Cholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care. Hernandez, who just had his extra point blocked, sends again Chavez to the near side. He's again trying to cut it over the far side, but this time jacked down by Richardson, who's going to hang on to make the stop. And there is some pretty uh, thick juice, some electricity along the St. John's sideline and in these stands. Yeah, I, that was a big play there for Thomas to run back that kickoff because it's re-energized this whole stadium right now. They're running the flag up and down the bleachers. Everything's going good here for the Redskins. They need a big defensive series right now. Going to have to slow Riker Marble, who's now 5 for 10, three touchdowns, 148 yards. Wilt Bank has now 109 yards of total offense, including the last 65-yard score. That was a connection between he and Marble. The Round Valley Elk leading 28 to 6, 10:41 to go in the third quarter. But let's see what the Redskins can do with this energy that has come off of Thomas's special teams play. Wilt Bank on the right of Marble, who's in the shotgun. Three receivers coming to the near side. Going to start a pass out to Chavez. Is going to take it at the 25. Ortiz, beg your pardon, who is brought down by Cox. Man, Afton Cox coming off of that defensive end position. That was a thing of beauty as uh, Ortiz caught the ball and there did not appear to be anyone within 10 yards of him, but Afton Cox, as he came back inside, Afton Cox was right there to meet him. So that answers that question about how might they respond with some of that energy. Actually tackled forward again. Round Valley always moving forward when they're getting stopped. They're going to say that was a four-yard gain. Here's a similar look on the play that they just scored on, Derek. Wilt Banks split out here to the near side. Will Bank now in motion, moving to the left. Give it to him as he's trying to start the sweep. Turning the corner at the 30. Still on his feet as he gets to the 35. Has a comfort, denture, uh, comfort fit dentures first down as he takes it out to the 36 and a gain of 10. Well, good run there. And as I had mentioned, they split out with five wide receivers and then brought Will Bank into the backfield to get the jet sweep there. And he just shows off his speed and why he's probably considered the top runner in the 3A East and maybe even 3A football altogether. Push it out to the Round Valley, 39, 28 to 6. The Elk lead, 9 minutes and 33 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It has been an eventful third quarter in just two and a half minutes as there's a little bit of an awkward start. Now a pass goes behind. Wiltbank falls incomplete. I think Rivera right now fortunate that he wasn't whistled for a procedure penalty. Yeah, it definitely looked like there was a bit of movement there. And once again, Wiltbank out in the slot. Marble just not able to find him. 
ball was thrown low near his knees. First incompletion here in the second half for Marble. Makes it second down and 10. Again, going with that five receiver start. Wilt Banks beginning this one on the left, but it's instead going to be Rivera. If they fake the toss to him, Marble trying to run through one tackler is going to be spun down and stopped right around the line of scrimmage by Tomas Jimenez. That good play there by the Redskin defense. Good pursuit by Jimenez. He's lining up. It looks like in that middle linebacker position. Oh, sorry. No, he's on the defensive line. Not a real big dude for a defensive lineman, but uh, good play there by the young man. Third down, they're calling it seven. And after the big special teams play, the Redskin defense nearly off the field as the Round Valley faithful have sent their flag in front of the St. John stands. And that was not met kindly. <laughs> Two receivers starting on the left. They're going to put Wilt Bank in motion, fake the handoff, then fake a pass, rolling to the left and throwing Ooh. it behind his intended receiver. And that time he was looking to try to get it to Walker, but it's going to fall incomplete. Well, great defensive series there by the Redskins. They get the big return by Thomas and come back and force a almost three and out, I guess. Five plays, yeah. six plays. That's a good defensive series. And they need to get their offense back out on the field and find some momentum offensively now. Marble kicking. Breeze picking up a little bit, blowing kind of in his face, but also off to his left. Thomas, who just had the 90-yard touchdown return, walking backwards as this one's a low returnable kick, but he's going to signal fair catch as it takes the St. John's bounce and then rolls back over the 30, picked up at the 29-yard line, and that is where the Redskins are going to start trailing 28-6. to Eight minutes and 24 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Thomas who has the lone score for the Redskins, has gone two for two, but negative one yard passing. He's rushed for 26 yards on nine efforts, but again, remember, he was sacked for a seven-yard loss, so has a lot more production than his line looks. Afton Cox, six carries for 19 yards, two fumbles, though. But he's had some big, big plays in the backfield defensively, though he's starting this one on the sideline offensively. In his stead is Chase Gray. From the shotgun, fake the handoff, Gray. Thomas trying to come to the near side where he's going to run through Rivera, get to the 40 where he has stood up, but not before he picks up a comfort fit denture first down. Well, great recognition there by Thomas as he saw the open op he saw the opening on the outside because Rivera sucked in on the play fake initially, thinking that the ball was going up the middle. Good read by Thomas. Push it out to the Redskin 41-yard line, 28-6, to six, Round Valley leading, 8 minutes and 14 seconds left in the third. Big first down there after the big defensive stop that came after the big 90-yard touchdown off of the kick. Can they continue to chip into the Round Valley lead? Redskins, again working from the shotgun. Thomas has a low snap, comes to him on a short hop, picks it up, though going over oh. the middle where it's grabbed at the 45 in Round Valley territory. Parker now trying to split two defenders. He's at the 30, the 20 before he's brought down by Wilt Bank at the 10. Fumble, but they're going to say he was down, and boy, did the Redskins just dodge one. Ooh. We'll see if we've got a replay here, but, man, that ball looked like maybe it was coming out as Tell Parker was hitting the ground. But once again, hey, great look there by Thomas on the pass and an even better run by Tell Parker. Parker's first catch is good for 49 yards. It nearly resulted in the fourth St. John's fumble, but instead is first and goal just inside the 10. And how about that job by James Thomas? Picks up another low snap. That time it bounced to him right at his ankles. He's able to pick it up and still have the composure. Credit his line also for giving him the time to allow him to find Parker as they now set up with Thomas calling his own number, trying to run to the left side. Puts his head down at the one, falls toward the goal line, but it's going to be stopped just short. Nine-yard gain makes it second and one. Wow, what a run by Thomas. The young man's feeling it right now. I don't know how that one wasn't a touchdown. It looked like his knee didn't, never hit. I, I thought he rolled the over zone. the defender, yeah. never, like you said, touching any part of the ground with any of his appendages. But instead, he's just shy of the goal line. Second and goal from the one. And St. John's about to really change the complexion of this ball game. It all started with a 90-yard kickoff return from Thomas. I would imagine he is going to keep this one as he is going to go under center. Chase Gray lines up behind him, and indeed keeping that one as he dives underneath his center's legs. And they put him up. A Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown, James Thomas, with his second score. This is the first one out of the offensive side, not the special teams, as he has 57 or 47 yards. 
after that rushing touchdown. And one would think that now the Redskins need to go for it, two after having missed that last extra point. Man, what a change of events here. What are we, six minutes into this thing, and here we go. <laughs> Timeout taken by Round Valley. We'll take it with them with 6.51 to play in the third, 28 to 12. The Elk lead, but momentum right now wearing red. So look forward to its presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. St. John's actually called that timeout. That's the first used by either side, so the Redskins will have two. They're trailing 28 to 12 after the previous extra point was blocked. Cox tried to get back on the field. He's told not to. Richardson's going to be deep in the I formation. Handoff is faked. Is now trying to keep that one running over the right side of the line and into the end zone for the two-point conversion is James Thomas to make it 28 to 14. Six minutes and 51 seconds left in the third quarter. It's still a two-score advantage, but again, momentum is right now we're in all red as they have cut the deficit in half, have the Redskins, still though they trail 28 to 14 on Chola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Twenty-eight, fourteen, Round Valley leading after scoring on two plays on its first possession. Round Valley has now watched as St. John's has run two quick ones up as this one is again angled away from Wiltbank. Taken by Ortiz, starting at the 20, now running along 25, starts moving to his left, turns it up at the 30, accelerates to the 40, approaching midfield as he's still on his feet. Now cuts it back go. to the right side and slipped two tacklers. He might go. And he's in the end zone after the NPC kickoff, a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown. Is I don't know how he stayed in bounds as he was around midfield. Yeah, it looked like he was getting pushed out. But, man, great sideline tiptoe there by Ortiz, and he goes to the house. I'm going to credit that as a 90-yard run. And as we had gone into that break talking about how that – had, uh, the third quarter had watched all the momentum start shifting toward the St. John's sideline. That incredible special teams play by Jovan, uh, Jovan Ortiz, 90-yard return. And this Flores extra point away from, again, making it a three-touchdown ball game. The snap is down. The kick is away. And it is good. 35-14 to 14 with six minutes and 34 seconds left. Round Valley has now reclaimed all that momentum on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the Deuce and at SholoFord.com. All right, two 90-yard kickoff returns as Flores is coming back out to attempt another Northland Pioneer College kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to NPC, lowest tuition in the state of Arizona. Flores this time moving into the right hash as his last effort was kind of knocked down by the wind, allowing James Thomas an opportunity for the first of two 90-yard returns. 
Thomas, the lone man, as he's now pushed it over to the right side, and they're going to try to kick the squibber. It's going to nearly be fumbled away, and did Round Valley get it back? Yes, they did after it was contacted around the 45-yard line. That yeah, looked like Ethan Owens up there. Looked like Ethan Owens touched it on the St. John's side and was recovered by the Elk. Stockton Brown was there in the recovery, but credit Flores. That was pretty. It looked like he, everybody was expecting him to try to wind up and put a big boot into it. And instead, came with the squibber to the short side. And Round Valley now taking over after the fourth St. John's fumble. And trying to capitalize, as they have on the previous three, starting this drive in Redskin territory on the 45, leading 35-14, to 14, 6.34 to go on the third quarter, and all sorts of momentum after two huge special teams plays by the Elk. Handed off is faked, actually, to Wilt Bank. Marble coming to the near side over the 40, trying to cut back inside where he's going to be instead grabbed and held at the 36. Gains... Nine? Nine, yeah. Yeah, right at nine. Well, good... Good touchdown, potential saving tackle right there by Winters. As it looked like he was, uh, or it looked like Marble had the sideline and might have busted a long one again for the Elk, but good Winters, tackle. You said Winters was there with that stop? I, I'm pretty sure it was Winters. Clock ticking under six minutes to go, second down and one. Wiltbank has not been used much here in the second half, but in fairness, the Round Valley Elk have not had their offense out for much. As Now they're going to set up the option, give it to him as he's going to the left side over the 35, has the first down, cut it back at the 30, still on his feet at the 25, tackle down toward the 20. Picks up 16 yards and a comfort fit denture first down after Parker gets the stop. Asher Rabin actually there with the stop. Oh, and you called it there, Derek. It was time to get Wiltbank the ball out of the backfield. They've had him lined up as a wide receiver a few times and have thrown the ball to him, but that's one of his first carries here in the second half, and he makes the most of it. Just outside the red zone on the 21, 35-14, the Elk lead. Wilt Bank on Marble's right, three receivers coming to the near side. As they again fake the handoff to him, keeping it Marble, goes up the middle. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10, before he is brought down by Scarborough. But it's going to be another comfort fit denture first down, this time again a 16 for the quarterback, and it'll set up first and goal. Well, and that was the perfect read by Marble as there were three guys crashing in on Wiltbank, left the backside of that defense wide open, and Marble takes advantage for a big gain. Gets his team into the uh, inside the 10 here, first and goal. Two huge special teams plays coming in succession. The 90-yard return from Ortiz and then the onside kick that was recovered. And now facing first and goal on the five with Wilt Bank standing on Marbles right again, trying to set up the option. Marbles going to call his own number, cuts it up the middle where he falls forward to the one, gain of three, second and goal. JT Richardson eventually was able to plug the holes. It looks like Afton Cox is having some cramping problems. As it looked like he was reaching for his toes, and again, as he stands up, trying to massage both calves and not walking off the field with a lot of confidence. He looks like me every morning, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't even look that good in the morning. They're going to say he was eventually down on the one. Wiltbank gets the call, runs it up the middle, and scores it. A Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown. The third touchdown on the day for Wiltbank. This one coming from one yard out and makes the score 41 to 14. Well, and that was a great answer by the Elk. Man, we've seen 20, 35 points now almost scored in this third quarter, and we're uh, what eight minutes in. Total different, totally different complexion to this ball game right now. Flores' extra point is up and good. Make it 42-14. to 14. Four minutes and four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Round Valley back in control until the Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Shola, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, he Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real, fresh, Mexican food.
Back at St. John's High School, the Redskins are trailing Round Valley 42-14, to getting set up for another NPC kickoff. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to Northland Pioneer College with the lowest tuition in the state. On the last opportunity, they set it up to the Elk on this near hash, and Flores forced Thomas to his left, was expecting something of a boomer, and instead the squibber was not fielded cleanly by the Redskins. Now he hooks this one back to the left, and it takes a bounce straight up, fielded at the four-yard line. Thomas trying to get to the far sideline, splits a couple of tacklers as he gets over the 20 to the 25 and eventually brought down at the 27, so a good return. But uh, Flores is really turning himself into quite a weapon here for a special teams player of the Elk. Yeah, that was a good-looking kick again. And uh, Thomas, not to be outdone, makes a good move, able to pick up some good positive yardage. Hey, and I, you know, the... Redskins haven't seen the ball since they scored on the last time and took a bunch of momentum. Let's see if they can carry it over right here. That scoring play or drive was really made possible because of the 49-yard connection between Thomas and Tell Parker as Cox has been struggling with cramps. Whoa, hold the phone. Is getting inside and blowing that one up fast was Garcia. by St. John's. Before they could do that, there was a procedure flag that was thrown. So push the Redskins back five yards. Armando Garcia has the strip that led to the second fumble that was recovered by Round Valley. And that time he had his ears pinned. Is in at the running back spot for the Redskins. Looks like they're going with Chase Gray. And Gray was uh, reintroduced rudely. Now a low snap had by Thomas. Has to tuck, now pressured, running around in the pocket and eventually starts to move it up, but brought down after a short gain of one. Merrill was there. As Round Valley nearly had them corralled for the sack, but instead positive yardage gains by Thomas. Now 48 yards on 13 tries. Well, Thomas and that escapability makes something out of nothing. But uh, look for them to probably pass here on the next couple of downs as they need to pick up 14-plus yards for a first down. Actually credited with two yards, second down and 13. Trailing 42-14 to 14 with the clock approaching three minutes to play in the third. From the shotgun, Thomas again with the low snap. Deep drop as he's going to wind up and throw this one he's into there. double coverage. And oh. it will nearly intercept it, but instead broken up as a great play there by Nico Pena. Looked like initially the wide receiver was right there. That was JT Richardson. Uh-oh. Oh, is Thomas down? Uh-oh. As Thomas is hopefully just trying to gather his breath. And after we had been pleased to report in the early going, the Summit Regional Medical Center injury report was clean on both sides. That is James Thomas. He seems as if he is holding on to his abdominal area but it could also now they're lifting up his pads and maybe looking at his ribs and the 2021 state wrestling champ right now is showing an awful lot of discomfort we're going to give him some privacy as his team trails 42 to 14 three minutes and three seconds to play here in the third quarter and st john's right now holding its breath on Shola ford's presentation of high school football on italk 106.7 and italk 1067.com who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right. Not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. Uh, well, the good news for the Redskins is Thomas, their quarterback, is up and operating under his own power. You see somebody go down like that, and the hope immediately is he just had the wind knocked out of him. But, again, we're speculating, and I probably ought not, but it seems as if they were trying to investigate his ribs. Wilt Bank is going to come in as the quarterback, facing a third and 13. Round Valley backing off a little bit, though a little bit of pressure eventually fainted. Instead, they're going to hand it off. Gray trying to come from the left to the right. Gets over to the 30 before he is brought down after a pretty good gain of five. Wiltbank was there on the stop to make it now fourth and eight, and Rivera expecting a punt. 
And not what you were looking for as the Redskins go three and out. Their defense will need to come up big here, not allow any more points on the board. Thomas still on the sidelines as uh, he's got his helmet. That, that's a good sign as Rivera waits for this punt to descend at the 25. Oh. It's again off the shoulder pad as he dives on it and is able to maintain possession for the Elk. Two minutes and 16 seconds to play in the third quarter. Round Valley leading 42-14. to 14. That one got awful spicy. Special teams have been an adventure tonight. <laughs> we've seen returns. We've seen onside kicks, fumbles. We've had the whole gamut just in one aspect of the game. Thomas still on the sideline for the Redskins, but again, still has all of his equipment. So they're, they're giving him a moment to ponder it all. He's having a drink as he's a big loss also on the defensive side for the Redskins. As Bushman is in to replace him in the backfield. Round Valley now with Wilt Bank on the right. He has 71 yards on 13 carries. They fake the gift to him. Deep drop there from Marble. Looking over the middle of the field. Caught by Ortiz. Running over the 50. Runs through one tackle at the 40. Still on his feet. He's at the 30. Trying to accelerate as he gets to the 20. Runs into one man who is rust, really hustling. Raven's able to get there to get him down at the 10. Winners. Winners was there as that is good for a big 65-yard pickup. And again, Jovan Ortiz doing a lot of that on his own volition. Well, thank goodness number 32, Raven, was back there to prevent the score as Ortiz was just running away from everyone else. Another good look by Marble, put it right on the money that time. Four catches for 146 yards for Jovan Ortiz. He's nearly doubled his output on the season today using a 77-yard grab and that one for 65. Beg your pardon, 34, 38, and 65-yard catches. As it's now first and goal. Thomas is back out there for St. John's. A minute and 39 seconds left here in the third quarter, 42 to 14 after that comfort fit denture first down. Handoff this time to Ortiz as he cuts it over the left side and spins into the end zone for a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown. Well, just a great response offensively by the Elk as they force the three and out and then go th almost the length of the field, I guess. They started, what, around their 20 right there. and Three plays later, here we are finding ourselves in the end zone. 48 to 14. And all of this starting in the third quarter after two tremendous special teams plays, the second of which came from Flores, who's in to attempt the extra point. He converted the... Oh, hold on. We got another neutral zone infraction against St. John's. Whoops. Sorry. There we denied you. The melodious uh, vocals of Chuck Copeland. So Kevin Flores, as I had been uh, saying prior to that flag, converts the onside kick after the 90-yard return from Jovan Ortiz. Ortiz now with two touchdowns as this is a low kick, but good. Making it 49-14 with a minute and 28 seconds to play in the third quarter. An eventful third quarter. And Round Valley now running its lead out to 35 on Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536 597 to Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash back to you. NPC kickoff when it's time to kick off your college education. Head to Northland Pioneer College with the lowest tuition in the state. Flores, who's going to need an ice pack on the short ride back to Round Valley. And good to see James Thomas out there standing between his goal line and five-yard line again. Another squibber this time, though, and nicely grabbed. Bouncer there, I believe that was Kyson Price, who was able to put two hands on that one. Not so fast. Yeah, not going to be fooled twice this game are the Redskins. Is the big guys up front were heads up and made a good play there. Did number 55. So we talked about it during the Honda Ski and Outdoors uh, Sport Report halftime.
conversation, but we're talking about the Alberto's player of the game, and right now it just kind of feels like it's got to be special teams, question mark? Yeah, I, I mean, I can't think of many other big, many other games where I've watched so many play. Another procedure flag whistled against St. John's, so not doing themselves any favors. The Redskins again going to go behind the chains, first and 15 as Afton Cox was out there, but now Chase Gray going back. As it is, it is warm-ish. So one could understand uh, how cramping could be an issue. Take a peek in the right slot. There's Tell Parker from the shotgun. Thomas fakes the give and taking over the right side, makes a man miss as he tries to get to the 50, spun down after a big six-yard pickup to get the yards lost plus one, make it second down and nine after Pena's stop. Well, and as you see in the middle of your screen there, good block there by number 22, Tell Parker, was able to spring Thomas free, get him into that second tier of the defense. Good to just see him back out there, yes. right? You and know, if you're a Redskins fan, you were, you're you excited to see your senior back out there. No hesitation after what, what I'm suspecting was some sort of uh, bruised rib situation. Working from the shotgun, taking a deep drop all the way back to his 40. Now winding up, going over the middle of the field where it was nearly had and then nearly intercepted. I think he was trying again to get this one to Rabin. But yeah, that's a dangerous pass. Wilsink. Yeah, dangerous pass right there. Is he had two guys in the same vicinity, and there were four defenders for the Elk. But again, to the previous point, uh, some good arm strength. Yeah, look good. Again, what looked like a rib injury. Yep. No, he, he looks like he's doing well out there, but he's probably just a real tough kid <laughs> to be a Wrestling state champion wrestler. To be, yes. Yeah, you, you've got to be a little tough. Third and nine, and Round Valley runs off sides. The Elk outside of that 90-yard. Round Valley. <laughs> Encroachment indeed. <laughs> uh, that'll make it a more manageable third down and four. As there's three receivers coming out wide left. Gray, the lone man in the backfield. Thomas looking in this direction. Has this one deflected and will be picked off. Bo Jordan with the pick, but... I believe that was tipped near the line by Rominger. Well, good, re good response there by Jordan. Man, that was uh, – he snapped that head back around real quick and made a great pick and good play, good play on the ball. Tough ball to pick after it was deflected near the line. And Is that five turnovers I now for the Redskins? that is number Derek? five, the first one through the air. And you might even consider that onside kick a type of turnover as well, yeah. right, as they touched it, you know. So, yeah, tough tough night execution-wise for the Redskins. Taking over with 33 seconds to play in the third, 49-14. to 14. Wilt Bank is on the left, gets the call, running to the right side, gets through the lane. Now he's at the 50, at the 45, running through, nearly brought down at the 40, but taking Tell Parker for a ride all the way out to the 32. And a huge pickup there on uh, Comfort Fit Denture first down of 30 yards. Yeah, game, or not game saving tackle, touchdown saving tackle right there by Tell Parker. As you saw in the replay there, he was just hanging on for dear life. Decided, well, I might as well try to jump at his ankles and bring him down. <laughs> 30 yards on the carry brings his total up to 101 yards on the ground. 166 yards total for Wiltbank. And that, of course, includes three touchdowns as they move it into St. John's territory, but with just one second left in the third, it's going to be up to these final 12 minutes, 49 to 14, the Elk in control here at St. John's High School on Shola Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Who sells the number one truck in America? Show Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com. 
orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Beginning on the left of his quarterback, he's going to drop back, looking over the middle where it's caught by Rivera, and he is going to walk into the end zone for a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown, that one coming from 33 yards out. Well, Marble really hitting his stride here in this second half. We wondered at halftime how he was going to come out. He's been extremely accurate. I mean, I, I, your stats are official. I don't have any, but, man, I would assume he's well over 200 yards now for the 249 half. 249. Is that for the game? game? Okay. But that doubles his season's production. And now trying to make it a 42-point game, which will make the clock run if Flores' extra point is successful. And successful it is. Seven seconds into the fourth quarter, and Round Valley now leading St. John's 56-14 to on Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on italk 106.7 and italk 1067com You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. College kickoff upcoming. When it's time to kick off your college education, head to NPC. It's with the lowest tuition in the state. Round Valley leading 56-14, to 11.53 to go. And after this ball is kicked, the clock will begin moving as this is a far cry from where it was eight minutes to play in the third quarter when it was 28 to 14. Yeah, and you, we you kept talking it, about St. John's had all the momentum, but two special teams plays later, Ron Valley said, we'll take it right back. Thank you very much as the wind at his back, and he blasts this one through the end zone. Flores again with the big special teams plays, denying James Thomas the opportunity, who had a big special teams play of his own. Yeah, it's, it's been a game of momentum shifts, as most rivalry games are, right? And Round Valley sees the latest one, and it looks like that's how it's going to finish as uh, St. John's finds himself you know, in we, a profound hole. We, we thumbed our nose at Tom Brady playing some Thursday night football here at St. John's High School. Got to give a shout-out to the Round Valley faithful who have filled the narrow bleachers here at St. John's High but have standing room only crowd going from the 40 to almost the 15-yard line. I won't try to guess how many people that is, except to say if this was Disneyland, that would be a daunting line. <laughs> You'd need a fast pass for that one. Yes. And even then, you might not get to ride Indiana Jones. <laughs> no response. Here comes James Thomas, who's going to call his own number and get brought down in the backfield for a loss. Now, once again, another good defensive play made by the Round Valley Elks defensive line. Looks like maybe they've gone with a few wholesale changes on defense as well, Derek, because I don't see Trace yeah. Merrill or Keanu Clark out there anymore. Well, and also playing center field, Nico Pena. Though we've called his name on the last one. Wiltbank still out yeah. there. Yeah, and they got uh, they got Rivera Manning, they, one of the corner do. positions, yep. as well on the near side, Dallin Walker. So they still got a lot of the regulars in there. As facing now second and 15, handoff is going well, to Cox, who fumbles it. It's still rolling free, and it's going to be scooped and going into the end zone. Nico Pena with the score. Six turnovers, five fumbles for St. John's. And a Mountain Mobile Auto Glass touchdown for Nico Pena. Well, good for that young man as he gets into the game. and I guess he played sparingly a little bit, but uh, gets himself a touchdown. That's fun stuff. Just that would have been the highlight of my football career right there. The scoop and score? The scoop and score, because I never did anything in football except for catch one first out pass. And you remember <laughs> it well. I do. That's why that would have been the highlight. Flores. 
getting a lot of work as this one a high snap brought down and the extra point is good the elk now leading 62 to 14 with the clock approaching nine minutes to play in the ball game it's solo for its presentation of high school football on italk 106.7 and italk 1067.com hi i'm dr arno i might not be comfortable on the basketball court but i promise at comfort fit dentures you'll feel comfortable Always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. Clock continuing to move. 62 to 14, the Elk have the advantage. How about this? James Thomas still out there playing special teams. He had the 90-yard touch or a kickoff return for the score that then set it up for his second one yard out. He responsible for both of these. But his team trailing 62 to 14. As again, Flores with the wind as an aid blasts this through the end zone. I'm not good with math, but since it was 28 to 14. I do believe that... Uh, Is that 34 unanswered points? I think so. Or 30, yeah, 34. Let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Subtract four, carry the one. <laughs> That's 30, 34. Yes, 34 unanswered. 7.37 to go. Well, we had 42 points scored in that third quarter alone between the two teams, so... Yeah, what a, what a change of events, right? Yeah. Those two special teams plays, first Ortiz and then Flores on the extra or the um, onside kick as the handoff goes to Cox, who's going to bounce off a couple of tacklers, get to the 25 and pick up five to make it second and five. Get, taking a look uh, as Garcia is there with the stop. There is no Merrill. There is no Clark. But otherwise, well, no, there is a, yeah, got a new, like new cornerback in uh, Jordan else Elmer. Out now too. Will Banks not out there anymore either. Handoff goes to Cox as he cuts it up over the 40, the 30, excuse me, the 35 to the 40 and picks up a comfort fit denture first down, gain of 16. A good hole opened up up front right there for Afton Cox, and he found it. Just kept that thing right in between the tackles and just kept running hard. Good now to see him back after he went out of the game stretching calves. Yes. And but with 40 yards on eight carries, that uh, overshadowed by four fumbles on the day for that young man. As he has a first and ten opportunity pitched out to the left, bounce off of one of his blockers, gets to the 45, still on his feet as he fights his way toward the 47, picks up six. Clock has six minutes remaining in the ballgame, 62-14, Round Valley with the lead, but all of the Redskins still showing an awful lot of fight, actually an eight-yard game. Yeah, and that's one thing if you coach Mike Morgan, when you're down like this, you definitely don't want to see your team roll over. That's one of the more frustrating things as a coach. You want them to keep playing hard, regardless of the score. There's pride on the line. There's the rivalry game. You want to give these guys your very best shot every time. Second down, they're calling it three. Pitching it this time to the near side as Richardson gets his hands on it, bounces off of a tackler to get to the 50, and then dives forward very close to a comfort fit denture first down. It's all going to depend upon the best judgment of the officials, and they say third down, a little bit slow getting up is one of the Redskins, as that is Cox, and it's probably a continuation of his cramping situation. Well, it looks like they are going to move the chair and stare it. Oh, well, a comfort fit denture first down indeed. Looked to me like he needed to get to the 49, and that ball spotted just shy of it, but regardless, give the young man a first down. Once again, he's, he's equaled my playing... Prowess. 448 to How's go. How's that for a superlative? 62 to 14 as Thomas trying to find some space. Now he's going to tuck it. Runs off of one tackler. He's at the 45. Keeps both hands on the football as he has a positive gain of six after it looked like he was going to be stopped for nothing. Well, and you see that young man Thomas right there. Good good shot by our camera crew. That, that young man's laid everything on the line tonight. And yep. uh, he's trying to make the most of his senior year of football right here. You can just see him. 
you can see that exhaustion on his face. And, but out there, giving it his best. Got to respect that. Second down, say it's four. In the backfield, Chase Gray. Thomas going under center. Richardson coming in motion. Handoff goes Gray. Bounces up a one tackle in the backfield. He's out to the 35 and has a comfort fit denture. First down. Kyle Parker, a freshman. Clark. He's a freshman, and he has his first stop today. As Gray gains six to move the chains, 21 yards on three carries for him, 340 to go, 62-14, Round Valley leading. Got two receivers going out wide left, fake the handoff. Thomas now going in that direction, gets to the 30, still on his feet as he's at the 25 and spun down close to the 20. Clark has another stop, but moving the chains with another comfort fit. Denture first down is James Thomas after he gains 14. A great run there by Thomas as you see him just cut it back up inside, take advantage of some good blocking by his lineman there. Clock continuing to move, approaching three minutes as approaching the red zone are the red skins from the shotgun, Thomas. Fakes the give, keeps it again going to the left side, trying to string it out to get to the 20, dives over the 15 toward the 10, and is pushed out of bounds, but pretty close to the yard marker. Number 22 is our Ricardo Morales out there on the tackle, along with Nico Pena. Looks like he gained nine to make it second and one. And the clock continuing to move with the heavy... Deficit forced upon these Redskins by those elk. Two minutes and 25 seconds left. Oh, no, they're saying it was a first down. A comfort fit denture first down, making it first and goal. Gray gets the carry, and he tries to find some room going up the middle. Picks up two yards. So second and goal from the neighborhood of the seven. Two minutes to play now. And... Though this is against uh, what probably should be considered Round Valley's second unit, continue to applaud the fight being shown, especially from James Thomas, who looked like he had potentially suffered a scary injury as he pitches this one. Richardson cuts it up and gets to the five. Another good pop there from one of the Round Valley linebackers. That's Rominger. Yeah, good hard collision right there by Rominger and, and uh, number four, JT Richardson, as he uh, was trying to find pay dirt out there. Comes up four yards short. 90 seconds, third and goal from around the three. Gray, the single back, gets the call, and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage, falls forward and inside the one. Kyle Clark, the freshman again with another stop. That's his third on this series. Now a minute and 10 seconds left, and it is fourth and goal from just inside the one. I think they got the first down on that one, Derek, oh, is, that is, what what that it, was? is what it's showing. Yeah, they must have been able to get a first down right at the one-yard line. So I'm looking at the marker over there. It says first down. Oh. Okay, I was, I was misunderstanding the, the last. So now first and goal from the two, but Thomas held up at the 10 and trying to fight his way forward, but is again going to be held up and gang tackled by many a elk. I don't know who got there first. But yeah, if I was going to guess, I would think them. it would be Rominger. It might have been Brody Ziegler. But that They gave him good forward this, possession uh, or forward progress there as they spot him just outside the five, it looks like. Round Valley can't get uh, the players on the field that it wants. 13 seconds left. And out Round Valley. Round Valley going to take a timeout. And Thomas is limping off the field. I think that the Round Valley coaching staff are going, because it looked like Rivera was trying to get back on the field. I, I believe that uh, they are trying to deny St. John's even a uh, moral victory. <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way to say that. <laughs> They're trailing 62 to 14. Uh, they don't want him in the end zone anyway. So is Thomas right now going to be able to come out for this next play? I, I call it what you will, but if you're if you're St. John's right here, you want to put this thing in. 
Thomas was limping toward the sideline. Now he's been given a little reprieve by the timeout from Round Valley's coaching staff. They're going to sub him out. It looks like they're bringing back in number six, yeah, Clance Wiltbank. Well, he, he got twisted around and, again, treated rudely as coming in to quarterback Wiltbank. Going to work from the shotgun. Gray is on his right. 11 seconds remaining. St. John's does have two timeouts. If it wants to use them, 62-14. Trailing, flags come out, and a false start flag. False start. Thank you, Jones. If you didn't believe me, there it is. Pushing back even further. This first and goal opportunity started inside the one. Now they're going to be pushed back all the way to the 12. Eight seconds left. And... The official says, well, maybe because of the timeout it won't. But regardless, the Redskins lose three seconds. So Will Bank remaining out there as the quarterback. See if they give the young man a chance to throw it. Under a little bit of pressure, throws it toward the sideline on the near side. And a flag comes out, and I think that's going to be a pass interference. P.I.? Yes. Okay, we got pass interference, White. Jordan Elmer guilty. So that's uh, a first down. <laughs> so three seconds remaining and half the distance to the goal puts it at the six. This will almost certainly be the final play with Round Valley leading 62 to 14. Well, let QB2 get, get him some stats here in the book. Get a touchdown pass here. Two receivers on either side of the line. Looking in the end zone. Pump fake. And now deflected oh, it's high. It's going to be hauled in oh, by Scarborough cool. after the deflection. <laughs> that was awesome. Watch this replay. That ball's 30 feet in the air, Derek. <laughs> they signal touchdown. I don't know if he had a foot down, but Wes Scarborough, have a night. Yeah. How about it? 62 to 20, and that should bring Leo Hernandez back out. Oh, they're not doing it. All right, so 62 to 20 will be the final score. We will start wrapping it up right after this. After, I should say, that West Corbo Mountain Mobile Autoglass touchdown. Thanks to all our sponsors. Wink. Show the Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focused on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College, expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Alberto's is the best place. Hungry for a win? Your stomach is always a winner at Alberto's. Open daily, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Alberto's is the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to satisfy your hunger for real fresh Mexican food. With locations in Shola, Wagon Wheel, Pine Top, Taylor, Heber, Eager, and Holbrook, they're ready to satisfy your hunger and help your stomach feel like a winner. Alberto's, real, fresh, Mexican food. Who sells the number one truck in America? Sholo Ford. That's right, not only do they sell it, Sholo Ford is the best place to buy it. Why? Guy Hatch guarantees it. In fact, he guarantees you'll get the best deal on your next Ford car, van, or SUV as well. It doesn't matter what you buy. Sholo Ford has the best deal. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce and at SholoFord.com.
I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free Just dinner. 536 597 to Mountain Mobile Auto Glass Cash back to you. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Hi, I'm Dr. Arno. I might not be comfortable on the basketball court, but I promise, at Comfort Fit Dentures, you'll feel comfortable, always. Comfort Fit Dentures has dentures starting at $499 with payment plans, and they have two labs, meaning you get your dentures in days instead of weeks. Call Comfort Fit Dentures today to schedule a free exam and x-ray. 928-888-0002. 928-888-0002. At Summit Healthcare, you'll find a level of care you might not expect from a rural hospital. We've recently received five stars from CMS, a prestigious ranking that less than 5% of facilities in Arizona earned. Our cancer center has proven its level of advanced care with a national accreditation from the Commission on Cancer. And we continue to add more doctors and services so that you don't have to leave the mountain to find the care you need. At Summit Healthcare, we're elevating care here at home. Winning takes focus, preparation, and support. Keep focus on your dream career while saving thousands in tuition costs at Northland Pioneer College. We're here to support your goals and see you succeed. Visit npc.edu to see our programs. An academic advisor will get you on the right path to achieve your educational goals. Northland Pioneer College. Expanding minds, transforming lives. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. 62 to 20, Round Valley with a huge win, now running the record of 3 and 0. St. John's 1 and 2, both of those losses coming to teams from the 3 8 East as all sorts of output for the Elk. Where you got uh, Riker Marble had gone 8 for 15, 249 yards, four touchdowns. Favorite target was uh, Jovan Ortiz, who had four catches. For 146 yards, two touchdowns. Rowdy Rivera had two catches for 49 yards and a touchdown. So that's Wilt Bank, two catches, 65 yards and a touchdown. Wilt Bank also on the ground, 15 carries for 101 yards. Marble also with 37 carries, I beg your pardon, 37 yards on seven carries. And then Ortiz, two carries, 24 yards and a touchdown. Wilt Bank also had two touchdowns on the ground. As got to give a big shout out, James Thomas went. Three for six for 48 yards. That included a big 49-yard pass to Tell Parker that helped set up his second touchdown. That one from one yard out. He gained 79 yards on 18 carries. He also had the 90-yard touchdown return. Afton Cox, 48 yards on nine carries. As we take a look at the plays that really made the biggest difference, starting with the Deemer's Glass, glass-shattering hit of the game. Deemer's Glass, for all your glass needs. 188, Glassman, call it. And we're going right back to the second quarter, and Armando Garcia 
Make sure I'm getting the name right. I am indeed. Armando Garcia with the strip. The fumble was recovered by Trace and Merrill, and that led to the second Round Valley touchdown that came off of all, all three of their scores in the first quarter on three fumbles. That one, though, uh, the hardest hit coming from Garcia with the nifty hands. Yeah, and I, this game was marked by turnovers from the beginning. When the Redskins found themselves gaining some momentum, the turnovers are what killed them, and, and that was a big one. Big play there by Garcia to come up for the Elks and uh, turn the Redskins away on that offensive possession. So that the Deemer's glass, glass shattering hit of the game for all your glass needs called 1-888-GLASSMAN. That the Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game. Beeler Orthodontics live to smile, love your smile. We're going to call this the straight line plays of the game because after St. John's trailing 21 to nothing, makes the score 28 to 14, really needing a big play to take the momentum back from the St. John's sidelines. It's Jovan Ortiz who is going to go 90 yards on a really incredible run that had him starting on the near hash, running to the far side of the field. Looked like he was going to be pushed out of bounds at the 50. Somehow was able to keep his feet in bounds while cutting it back inside and running it all the way in for the 90-yard score. On the ensuing play, the Northland Pioneer College kickoff indeed was a squibber. Don't know if they were necessarily going for the onside kick, but Kevin Flores expertly Hits it off the ground, high bounce. St. John's kind of caught a little bit unawares. And uh, after it was contacted for what would be the fifth fumble, the Elk are able to jump on that one. And after that, it was really all she wrote. Yeah, 14 unanswered points right there. It ended up going to 34 unanswered points, as we called. And, man, I, I can't imagine a bigger special team night than what we saw tonight. We had two kickoff returns, one by each team, and the Elk – uh, just they, they did an incredible job in that in that uh, one minute time frame, probably even less than one minute, 30 second time frame. So that the Beeler Orthodontics straight line plays of the game, two big special teams plays by Round Valley. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile, leaving us only with the Alberto's player of the game, Alberto's real fresh Mexican food. There's so many, I can't choose, Abe. Who you got? <laughs> you know, I decided to go with the sophomore quarterback, Mr. Uh, yeah, we've been calling his name all night. Why can't I remember it? Uh, Marble. Marble. Sorry, Riker Marble. I, to me, he's the Alberto's player of the game. We talked about him at, at the beginning in our ace hardware keys to the game. What's the young man going to do in a rivalry game? It's his first time on the varsity football field against St. John's. This is a rivalry that's older than probably his grandma. And, you know, <laughs> here he comes. And a he, he, little shaky at first, Eric. A little shaky in the first quarter. We saw a lot of balls sell. We saw some underthrows. But, man, he came out hit Javon Ortiz, Rowdy Rivera in that first half for two big touchdowns, and then in the third quarter really just came alive, running the ball, throwing the ball well. I, I've got him as our Alberto's player of the game. So throwing the ball for 249 yards, again, nearly doubling his output on the season. Eight for 15, four touchdowns. Riker Marble, the Alberto's hungry player of the game. Alberto's real fresh Mexican food as this is just the first of two ball games this week for us here on italk 106.7 and italk 1067.com tomorrow from Snowflake High School the first time we get to see the Lobos as they play host to Fountain Hills and what is going to probably be a big one the Lobos one and one suffered a loss to Valley Christian to start the season so they are looking to try to hold serve on their own floor and uh, having the uh, benefit of watching Round Valley hang 62 on St. John's trying to remind everybody exactly uh, whom the state champ is, though that state champ did suffer their only loss to the Round Valley Elk last year. So, yeah, and, and we've had a chance to see Round Valley and Sholo now, and I, we've talked about it. I think those are two very good competitors for Snowflake, and they play each other in the final two weeks of the season. Man, I can't wait. We, we've got six weeks. It is going to be hot. But really crank up the heat. A Lobo win over Fountain Hills, which you can hear again on italk1067 and italk1067.com tomorrow at 7 o'clock at Snowflake High. Until then, thanks so much. Big shout-out to Chris, who was doing the directing in the truck. Thanks to everybody who was involved in this, and thank you for listening to us here on a special Thursday night broadcast. Until tomorrow at Snowflake High, I'm Derek Palmer for Abe Bowden. We'll see you then. This has been Sholo Ford's presentation of high school football on iTalk 1067 KNKI Pine Top and iTalk1067.com. Brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, 
Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint, Little Bluebird Studios, Comfort Fit Dentures, Alberto's, Summit Regional Medical Center, and Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. This broadcast has been a copyrighted production of iTalk 106.7 and Country Mountain Airwaves, a Copenhagen communication station. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or use of this broadcast without the expressed written consent of iTalk 106.7 or Country Mountain Airwaves is strictly prohibited. For more information on this game and other games around the region, go to iTalk 106.7.